Hello friends, in this video I want to show you three methods I have to fix the factory set angle of a crooked drill press. It's failure to align the table 90 degrees in the front to back position or XZ plane. This drill press has two issues. First of all, it's lower in the middle and higher on the outside. So if we drill an item in this position, it will be lower here and higher over here. And the angle of the hole won't be 90 degrees to the length of the item. The same if we put it here. The hole will be crooked. The other problem is that this table is lower in the front and higher at the back. So it also delivers crooked holes in this position. Not square with the length of the item. These problems are not easy to solve. Not just simply tightening a bolt. Let's go and see the methods I have to solve these problems. The first method to fix this problem is an emergency adjustment. We can use it only in case we are working on something and we do have to do it in a hurry. First of all, we get a, a very flat piece of iron or steel and put it on the tape. This will remove the problem of it being very low in the center as it's perfectly flat. So we can get 90 degrees on this side and on this side if we adjust the table appropriately. There. We fix it there and there we have 90 degrees on both sides. To fix the front to back issue we have to put a small thin bit of steel If we have to lift the table up, we put it at the bottom. Then we tighten it there. And with that sheet, metal sheet, we have lifted up this front part of the, the table. And now it can be drilled to 90 degrees. Okay, in this case, with this table, I only needed a piece of sheet of one millimeter to lift the table five millimeters. Now, this fix, as I said, is only an emergency fix because putting a piece of metal there makes the bolt tighten this part at an angle and that might ruin the bolt or the thread of the column. So this is only for emergency uses. The second method to correct this problem is a permanent fix. But we have to hold it there with clamps or with a bolt. The first thing we have to do is verify the amount of deviation from the 90 degrees how many millimeters, what distance there is between the bar and the square. This distance is the amount we'll have to lift the table to get it perfectly square with the bar. In this case, it's five millimeters. We can measure it there and we can measure it over here. And this is five millimeters. That's what we need to lift this up to get it perfectly square. That distance is the material we need. Five millimeters thick to lift it up five millimeters. We cut an arc 13 centimeters long and about three centimeters wide. Wide enough to drill a hole in there so we can place a bolt there. Then we present the arc and the circle in the proper position, centered there, and we fix it in place with clamps.
Now we verify the angle, 90 degrees and 90 degrees. So we tighten it up and we turn it over and we mark the position where we're going to have to make the hole. Then we turn it back to the previous position and we take the arc off to make the hole. Once we've made the hole in the arc, now we're going to weld the arc to a circle. Okay, we finished welding. We welded the arc on the, on the plate. We welded the nut. You've got another arc to press it against the table there, to fix it there, and the nut uh, wasn't the right kind of nut, so I had to weld a, a bit of iron on it, and uh, to fix it on the table, we have to do this upside down. We put it underneath the table. We place the holes where they have to go and we screw on the, the bolt. We fix it as tight as possible with our hands. We turn this around. We tighten the adjustment bolt. Lower it and center it. And now we have to test it. First of all, we're going to tighten the table here and first of all, we test it on the side. We need to adapt that a little bit. Now on this side and on this side. Hmm? And there we are ready to start drilling holes as precise as can be. The third method for correcting this problem is a permanent fix. And once it's done, it will look as if it came out of Black & Decker's warehouse. So Black & Decker will have to hire me to fix its problems. This method is about machining the surface of the tape. As this part is lower and we have to bring this part higher and that lower, then that means we have to machine out this part. And for this drill press, that means five millimeters. We have to machine out five millimeters, remove five millimeters there, about that amount, all there. And then the problem is that this material here is four millimeters thick. So if I remove five millimeters from the surface here, I will have holes. And that is going to weaken this table and it's not possible to do machining this table to remove material. If you have to remove more than two or three millimeters from the table, you can't machine it because that could simply ruin the table. Well, friends, that's it. Now I can start.
drilling those holes I need and I hope you liked this video if you did please give it a thumbs up share it subscribe and thanks for watching bye bye